Hello, welcome to the Between Classes podcast. This is Isabel, and today we have Christian Rosaboom joining us. He's going to tell us about uh, what it's like to be a student athlete here at SDSU and on the football team. So, Christian, thanks for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, do you just kind of want to tell everyone maybe a little bit about yourself, where you come from, your major? So, uh, yeah, I'm Christian Rosaboom. I'm from Sioux Center, Iowa. I'm obviously on the football team. I'm an animal science major. I'm in my last year here. So when did you start playing football? How long have you been playing and how far back does that really go? Um, well, I have two older brothers, so I've pretty much been playing football since I can remember. I mean, it's always been something I have done and they've kind of taught me a lot of things growing up that I kind of use now. So. Did you play like flag football? Where did it start? Um, I think we started a league when I was in fifth grade and that was fairly new for our town to have that. So that's kind of a big deal. We had like one game a year and we thought it was the greatest thing ever. So So then you played in high school. That was your next step. Was that kind of like a changing moment in your life where you realized this sport's going to be a lot more to you than just football? Yeah, I think so. I think it was just sports in general mm-hmm. um, at that time. And in Sioux Center, there's not much to do. So we kind of just played all the sports that we could. Um, so it's kind of a year-long thing. And um, had a lot of fun doing that and have a lot of friendships still from from all the sports that we've done. And just throughout getting older, I kind of realized that football was one that was the most important to me. So, What were some of the other sports that? I played basketball, baseball, and I did track as well. So, And did you just excel more or just enjoy it more? Or? I don't know. I I definitely didn't excel in basketball. That was my, my worst sport by far. But I think it was just the one that meant the most to me kind of just the relationships that I've gotten from it and just the work that goes into it I kind of fell in love with that so what does a typical week look like you with football in class maybe this year's might be a little different since it's your senior year but just in general what does like a day or a week look for you I guess during the season we usually have Sundays off go in and get rehab if you need if you have any injuries or whatnot and then uh, Mondays and Wednesday mornings we have lifting and then uh Mondays we'll just have meetings and guys will have class in between there, obviously. And, and then practice will start Tuesday through Friday. We'll have practice at about two to whenever we get done and we'll have, they have meals for us, which is super nice. And yeah, obviously class usually is in the morning, scheduled for the morning during the fall semester. And then during the spring semester, we have practice in the morning. So usually afternoon classes for that time of year. So they make it work with school. Yeah. Leave you some time to schedule yeah. your classes. Yeah. No, they actually do. Uh, they stress that a lot. That's a lot of our announcements or whatever. Make sure you do this for your advisor meetings. Make sure you do this for your finals, all that kind of stuff. So. So with that, what are some of the ways that the football program supports um, its athletes academically? Maybe with, I don't know, tutoring or study hours or what are some of those things that they do? Um, so freshman year, every freshman has to do study hours by themselves. I think it's like five or six hours by themselves. Like a week? A week, yeah. And then we have study table twice a week for an hour and a half. So eight hours of just sitting down. Oh, geez. Um, which mo- when I was in it my freshman year, I usually ran out of stuff to do, which is good. I mean... At least you're getting it done. Then we have our own, not our own, but um, an advisor. We have a sports advisor that really helps us with all our class problems and schedules and all that kind of stuff. And she gets us set up with tutors if we need it and all that kind of stuff. So Seems like they're, you know, really focusing on that academic side of you're not just an athlete, but you're also a student. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. How do they log those hours when you're, you know, either at study table or just study hours in general? Yeah, for study table, it's obviously just attendance. And then um, for your hours, you have to go sign in with your coach because the coach is there all day. So you just go and tell them you're going to start your study hours and then you sign out with your coach after it's done. And The coaches are in the dyke house all day? Yep. Oh, geez. Yeah. So That's nice. Yeah. So you just got to sign in with them and it's actually pretty strict. It kind of seems like your coaches are there almost as much as maybe a professor like they're always in their office or available to the athletes. Um, what has that relationship been like for you with those coaches? No, I mean, coaches and, and player relationships are kind of, I mean, it's different for every coach and obviously every player. But you spend a lot of time with them. Um, you learn a lot from them. I mean, hopefully they learn a little bit from you too. As a person and as a football player, I think our coaches do pretty well with that, making sure that you excel 
on the field, um, in the classroom, they make sure they check up on you. And then as a person too, they, they make sure that you're doing well overall. So, so then in what ways has football set you up for your future? I mean, hopefully it'll continue on, but probably in some other ways too, that you mean you get more out of sports than just sports. So what are some of those things that, you know, you've really seen benefit you and that you'll carry on into the next phase? Um, your platform really builds as you're here. Yeah, like I said, hopefully football continues for, I mean, for every single player here, but for the majority, um, it's it's not going to. And it just having football help with your school, getting an education for a lot of guys um, that wouldn't normally come to college um, is a pretty big deal. And um, just the connections that you get with other people and the experiences that you can put down on your um, resumes and all that kind of stuff, any leadership that's come from it, I think that really goes a goes a long ways for employers so you have a busy schedule but do, do they give you any free time do you get any time off <laughs> uh yeah we get free time we just came off our bye week and we had uh thursday morning practice and we had all day thursday friday saturday sunday so that was nice a lot of guys went home after classes got over yeah so i mean there's free time the summer we have free time we get the month of may off after finals so one guess, month yeah, one month to do whatever you want <laughs> yeah pretty much it's i mean it's it's what you signed up for. So. Right, right. So what is, is the off season just that one month or yeah. is there an off season? Usually we'll get, um, depending how, f- how long we're playing, we'll get off Christmas break. Um, then once we come back to school, obviously we're going and lifting and all that stuff. And then um, after finals, we get over then we'll come back at the end of May for lifting and all that kind of stuff. So, so. still time to do other things and yeah, see get, family. and Yeah, you get a few weeks. A lot of guys go on their trips and stuff and all that kind of stuff during a May break. So so what other things do you do outside of football? When I do a free time, I, I do like to go home, um, see my family. I'm um, not too far away, which is nice. I go hunting and fishing quite a bit around here and then just hanging out with friends and going golfing in the summer, all that kind of stuff. So Yeah. I, see, I mean, Birkins is the place for all of that. Yeah. It's all like in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Then what are you looking forward to with the rest of the season? We're probably what halfway through now and there's still quite a bit left but as a captain are there any things that maybe with your team or just the games coming up that you're looking forward to I think just with the conference play it's a big deal for us just seeing how well we play against them Um, I mean I know we'll play well but the true competition is our our conference we have a really good conference so just seeing how the guys step up for the occasion and yeah just seeing how how the season goes um I mean it's you said halfway over, but we're only a third of the way in with games, but it's half the season is already over as a whole. So, How does that make you feel? Because it is one of your last, because you graduate in December? Yeah. In December. Yep. So how, what is that? You're going through a bunch of lasts. How is that? It's, yeah, it's interesting. feels like I've been here forever, but it feels like I've just got here at the same time. So yeah, it's weird just thinking about this might be the last time I do this or this and not really relishing in those moments, just making the most of the opportunities that we have. And um, when it's over, it's over. And hopefully you can look back on it and know that you did everything you could at it. So So then what are your plans after graduation? I mean, obviously, like you said earlier, hopefully to continue football, but then what does that process look like if you want to continue football? Yeah. So I'll go train, hopefully, after the season, wherever that'll be. I'll get out of South Dakota, that's for sure. Um, not that I don't like it here, but I just need to get out for a little bit. Yeah, Where would go, you train? Do you know? Um, yeah, I've kind of reached out to some people in, in Arizona and Texas and Colorado a little bit. And kind of depends on the agent process, too. Um, picking an agent and getting set up with him, and um, they'll just kind of take care of that stuff for you for the best fit for you and then yeah just all the things that go with that uh there's all-star games they hopefully get invited to and um different pro days and combine and all that kind of stuff if it if the opportunities arise so and then yeah the draft or um getting signed by whoever and all that stuff and then um all summer for the beginning of summer you're with the team hopefully and then uh, you get a month off before you start training camp again so a lot of exciting opportunities coming up for you right hopefully yeah hopefully yeah (laughs) Well, I think a lot of people here are rooting for you, so we hope that all of those things come true and that we get to see you continue to play. Yeah, I appreciate it. So I'm just going to ask you the last two questions that we ask each of our guests. So that first one is, what's your favorite thing about SDSU? I think just the relationships I've gotten from SDSU. I came here and I I knew a couple people from high school, um, and I've, I've stayed close with them, but 
the ones that I've really grown with, obviously the ones I had no idea who they were before I came to school here. So yeah, that's something that'll take forever is just the people that um, make up this place and everything. So. And then what's your favorite thing about Brookings or the community? I'd just say, yeah, the community itself, just how they support the college, how they support athletics and, and football. Just really good people. And the small town feel is something that was important to me even in my recruiting and all that stuff is something that um, really stood out to me. So, yeah, I just, again, the people. Yeah, I think you feel it like the moment you step on this campus that is just contagious, the energy not only within students, but you know, the community and how they support Mm -hmm. athletics and just students in general. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing and being on our podcast today and telling us all about your football career and your life as a student athlete. Yeah. Thanks for having me.